you know, you've recently become one of my best friends, and uh, uh, I really want you to tell me what to do. Um, um, maybe you should just delete your fucking account. Alright lads, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tom Harlock. I make videos twice a week, so feel free to subscribe. Trying to hit 13 million by the end of the year. Currently on 160,000, so doing well. I hope you had a good week. Probably not as good as mine though, because I spoke to someone famous. If you don't follow my other social medias, you may have no idea who I'm talking about. And even if you do, you still may have no idea. So let me pass you over to the girl herself for a quick introduction. My name is Lele Pons, L-E-L-E-P-O-N-S. And how does Miss Pons describe herself? Well, in her own words... Uh, a physical comedian Ooh. who likes to do stunts and be relatable and, and talk about girl problems and school and how to deal with problems as well. Wow, sounds great. You really sold yourself there, darling. If you want to see Do Not Know who Lele Pons is, she's 21 years old of Venezuelan descent. She was the most watched Viner of all time and she will not let you forget that. She now stars in music videos, makes YouTube skits that are hilarious, tries to ruin her friends' careers, and she fakes charity posts for likes. All in all, pretty sound person. As a quick disclaimer for the three Lele Pons fans who are watching who understand what the word disclaimer means, I'm not obsessed with Lele, don't worry. In fact, I look back and I've only mentioned her twice on social media before this week. First time being a tweet where I say Christine Sadelko is funnier than her. Try and deny it. Second time is my third to final Vine where I said this. Obviously Vine's ending and I'm being sincere. I just want you guys to know that <laughs> Lily Pons was never funny. How the fuck did she get Again. Facts, try and deny it. So you're probably wondering what happened this week to spark this video. Well, one of the original co-founders of Vine tweeted this saying that he's down to have a follow-up app. Obviously, as an ex-Viner, this excited me, so when I saw a news article about this, I wanted to share it, share it to the world. And because I'm funny and I like jokes, I quote tweeted it saying, if anyone tells Lele Pons, I'ma fucking rip your face off, bitch. It's funny, it's a joke, and other people thought so too, and in fact the tweet banged and got over 200,000 likes. And before you knew it, people in the comments were rejecting her from every social media. It was a barrel of laughs, it was hilarious. You take things like that with a pinch of salt when you're big on social media, you have to. Especially when you've been in the game for, what, five years like Lele Pons has? However, Lele didn't take it with a pinch of salt, and decided to subtweet about me, which I didn't see for a while because um, I'm blocked, but she said, Dear haters, Stop following me and follow your dreams. I thought, whatever, at the end of the day, 200,000 people think you're a knob, so I win. Like, half an hour had passed and I was just chilling. I forgot about the whole thing, if I'm honest. And I was just on my Instagram story. And who else other than Lele Pons had watched the whole thing? I was like, fuck's sake, Lele, you just tweeted about focusing on your own life and your own problems, and here you are subtweeting about me and then checking my Instagram story. What are you doing, darling? Now I have to make a video showing everyone how much of a knob you are. You may be wondering, what does what does Lele stand for? What who is she? Well, let me spell it out for you. Lele. The L stands for loyalty. Lele doesn't understand the concept of friendship or loyalty at all. And a good example of this is Amanda Cerny. Amanda Cerny used to be Lele's best friend, YouTuber, one of those entrepreneurial social media girls. Really good. I kind of like her. Amanda had a bit of a problem. She couldn't figure out exactly why her YouTube videos were being deleted all the time. Well, it turns out that Lele, her best friend, was the person doing that. Because that's obviously something that normal people do. Listen to this. I thought in my head, like, YouTube's, like, just deleting my video and not admitting to it. <laughs> like, I would think that before I would think that Lele would do it. I'm like, Lele, wait, did you delete my YouTube videos too? And she's like, yes, okay, I did it. And I'm like, what the f***? <laughs> if you think that's bad, it didn't even stop there. She would even put my profile on private and I would find out it's on private so none of my fans could see my posts. And tag me from all of her photos and like act like, oh, she forgot. It sucks when you find out like the people that you trusted are just fake. Nailed loyalty pretty well there, Lele. <claps> Let's move on. E. E is for ego. Alright, here's another run-in that Lele had with a different YouTuber, former Viner. This time it's Jessie Smiles. For a while whilst they were on Vine together, Jessie was actually bigger in numbers than Lele, and Lele could not handle it. Listen to what Jessie has to say about one of the times they met. I'll never forget, it was her 18th birthday. I went up to her and I was like, oh, happy birthday. Do you want to come to Cheesecake Factory with us? And I shit you not, this bitch. <laughs> she looks at me and she's like, well, you're the famous one, so you decide. If you haven't guessed yet, Lele has become obsessed with the numbers. But she can't see anything other than the number. She's like a fucking character in Lost. And that's why she was so intrigued by my tweet. Because it did 
high numbers. This intimidated her and being who she is, she had to check my Instagram just to see if I had more followers than her. And while she was there, might as well check the story as well, you know? The numbers are everywhere, they're in her bio. She can't even go an interview without saying about them. I blew up because of Vine and I have the most followers there. Yes, Lele, we get it. You had the most followers on Vine. Ooh, the budge. No. Essentially, if you're not on a level, you're nobody. And if you're higher than her, she'll try and take you down. We went to Cheesecake Factory, she ended up coming, and my brother Joey went up to her face to face, like, you know, like how humans meet. And he said something along the lines of like, oh, I don't think we've met yet, I'm Joey. No shit, she looks at him with a blank stare and then just stares off and walks away. Next we have, oh, I didn't plan for this, fucking hell, why didn't I think there'd be a duplicate L? Lies. That was pretty easy, actually. L stands for lies. I know what you're thinking, Tom, you're giving this girl a bit of a hard time, like relax. However, just a quick reminder, friendly reminder, she's 21 years old and she's been in the entertainment industry for five years, which is longer than I have. So if I can take it, so can she. And well, she also lied about donating her hair to charity. So <laughs> yep, yeah, that's right. Courtesy of this Instagram post, Lele confirmed that she was donating her hair to charity after cutting it all off, which we can all agree is a lovely thing to do. However, if you've watched any, any Tanner videos, you'll know what hair tracks look like. Zoom in, have a little look on that. So that's not hair, Lele. Those are hair extensions. That's not real hair. You can't cut off hair extensions and say you're donating them because you're just give, you're taking someone's hair from a terrible industry probably, and then saying, all right, you can have it back, but only after I've dyed it blonde. That's what you've done. A lot of people on YouTube do charitable things, like they give up burgers to homeless people and that kind of shit. It's not evil because the homeless people who get that burger, whether it be for camera footage or not, they're still getting a burger, do you know what I mean? They're still getting something at the end of the day, so it's not completely evil. Whereas Lele didn't even fucking do anything. You can't lie about charity stuff for clout. 50% of her Instagram posts to probably get approved by an external source. So you're telling me that one slipped the net. It's an absolute fucking lie. There's only two ways of looking at this. She did it for attention and put the extensions in there on purpose, or she really just lies about donating to charity. Either way, she's shit. All right, I think that's lies over and done with. Jesus, got a bit passionate there. E, Stan, have I got another double E? I haven't done double E since 2014. I didn't sleep for four days because I was watching Scooby-Doo anyway. E, E is for entertainer. <coughs> See, Lele is obviously known for her hilarious skits, her Instagram comedy, her relatable videos, obviously brilliant. Everything about her is hilarious. But what if it's not? What if it's not funny in any way at all? What if that's a concept? Let's take a look at this one. It's called Getting My Driving License. She posted it on YouTube and it's got millions of views. I'm really nervous about this. You shouldn't be. It's just going to be the two of us. Lele, you crazy bitch. You're not supposed to invite your friends on your driving test. <laughs> it's just got to be me and you. <laughs> well, maybe we can come to an agreement. Don't you think? Maybe you should sit back here and we'll judge her from here. Oh, I get it. Your mate wants... <sighs> You may want to give him a blowjob in the back. That's pretty funny. All right, uh, how am I doing? Not good. Girl, you can't drive. That's well funny. This is so, you deserve all the awards for comedy. You're hysterical. Lele, you have my fucking channel. Um, Lele, you need to buy me a new iPad, bitch. I get that I'm not a demographic. I completely understand that. Our fan base oh, is like I've, I've from like what? Work. Nine to like 17, yeah. 20. But they won't understand a lot of things. Oh yes, you go girl, Ma you manipulate that audience. <laughs> you manipulate those children, baby, you get that coin. And she did, she co-wrote a book and it was called Surviving High School. Lely admits that she co-wrote the book, but to be fair, I kind of doubt her contribution based off this answer. How did the, the collaboration for the book work? It was great, you know, reflecting on everything you did back in high school, it's just, you know, so many memories, so many, it's like, it's just like you got so far and it's like, it's just over, well, not overwhelming, but it's like very exciting and I, and I laughed so hard with her. In fact, this whole Perez interview is a shit show. Listen to how she describes how she was at school. I was, I was the bully. I was the least popular girl. I was in the middle. I was in a point the most popular girl. What was that? I was, I was the bully. Ah, uh, sick. I mentioned before how I'm not Lele's demographic and I, I, I accept and own that. However, for the purpose of science, I decided to go and find someone who is. So I went over to my niece's house and I showed her a compilation of freaking hilarious Lele Pons vines. And it's safe to say that 
Well, she thought it was equally as shit, so there's that. In all seriousness, I've watched so many Lele Pons interviews now where I feel like I can concisely say the girl is just obsessed with numbers and success. Jake Paul, Lele Pons, those kind of creators will do anything to get where they want to be. And if that means making content aimed at small children where they just sit and watch it for hours on loops and that's how they pay their bills, that's okay. But you have to accept and own it. Don't pretend to be anything other than a factory. Lele, when she first started on Vine, Admittedly, she had something, whether it be drive, I don't know. Don't give Lele Pons abuse, it's not worth it. Vent all your hate in the comments. I'll reply to the first 500 or so down below. Thank you so much for watching as always. I love you. See you next time. Goodbye. So the, the key for my vines is to be relatable yeah. and to do like verses, like what you wish or what you wouldn't do. Yeah. Just give some something like that somebody would want to do, and yeah. but I'll give it to them, you know. And um, to be violent, um, to be violent, um, to be violent, um, to be violent.